My name is Eric Wielander and welcome to Windy Tech, a channel all about apps, gear, and automation in the Apple ecosystem. If that's something you're into, consider subscribing. So today I'm gonna to show you how to make templates in Todoist that you can use to share project templates for yourself, for quick recreation of projects, or even across a team of people you work with. It's been quite the arms race of task managers this year on the um, Mac and iOS with Things and OmniFocus both adding some really great automation tools to create task templates very quickly. Um, and Todoist has also upped their game recently by reimagining their template feature just slightly and then also adding this really great template gallery on their website that you can go browse to see other task uh, or other project templates. And it's a great place to browse and just get inspiration for ideas for, you know, things you might want to make a template out of. And then from there, you can just click one of the links and add it to your own Todoist as a template. So for a while on the Mac, you've been able to create templates by just exporting a CSV file of that project and then re-importing it. Um, but now you can make a shareable web link. Okay, so I'm here in my own Todoist and I have a project I've set up for publishing my own YouTube videos. So all I have to do to make this a shareable template is if I go up here to Project Actions and you can do this on the website as well as the Mac app, then you do Export as Template. If you hit that, you can choose to export as shareable URL and then you can just copy this to your clipboard and share it wherever you want to click on links. The other cool thing about this too is I no longer need to have this project around for the template to work. So I can go ahead and either archive or in this case delete this project and then the template will still on Todoist, still work on Todoist's website. So one of the ways I've started to use these Todoist templates uh, myself is integrating them with Siri Shortcuts. Um, so if I go ahead and launch the Siri Shortcuts app, then I can open my Todoist template shortcut. And from there, all I have is a very simple setup where I just choose from a menu of different uh, templates that I've made. And then from there, it just opens that Todoist URL so I can show you an example here with let's say my weekend chores template. I hit the uh, run button on the shortcut, I choose weekend chores, and then it will go ahead and open the uh, website and I'll say do we, we want to use this weekend chores template on my Todoist. I hit use this template and boom, it makes that project already in my Todoist. And so I can even go back here to my um, you know, Todoist app on iOS and it's already synced over. Here's my project with all the weekend chores right there um, all ready to use. And you can notice that it even carries over, you know, project headings and other details about tasks. You can carry over sort of start dates or, or dates you want to work on tasks relative to when you import the template. And you can get really fancy with that. The one big downside of this is that you can't uh, import labels um, or parent projects because if you're sharing this across a group of people, Todoist can't assume that someone else has the same label setup or the same project setup as you do. So uh, you can't automatically add this to a parent project or add labels but of course now that I've created this project nothing's stopping me from modifying this to my heart's content adding it to a parent project let's say in my case I'm gonna put it under my home project um, and then you know I could also add labels and everything else but those are not going to correspond to the, but those aren't gonna come over from the template, unfortunately. Thanks so much for watching this video. Subscribe to this channel if you aren't already. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Let me know in the comments below if there are ways you're excited about using Todoist templates. Thanks again so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.